Hi there! What an exciting day! We finally get to see the first build of Android P on the old Mi TVs. The 32 inch Mi TV and the 43 inch as of now. In this video, I'm going to take you through the process of update. I'll show you the interface and we'll see how it works. Now, just to inform you, this is a first build, which means only limited people have access to it and it's going to have lots of bugs. So right now, this is not a stable update. So things are going to work, things are going to not work. I will take you through the process of the update, show you how the interface looks and everything. So continue watching this video. This is your friend texting. Let's get started. The update will be sent over the air. You can check for it in the settings and update options on your old Mi TVs. It took around 20 minutes to download. The TV then reboots to the Android TV logo. The setup process is fairly simple. Choose your region, enter Wi-Fi password, Google credentials and an option to install additional apps. This is like setting up a new TV. All the apps and data that were there on the device will be erased. So make sure you back up any data if required. Here is an instruction for the remote. If you press the home button, it will take you to the Android TV homepage. And if you press the three line menu button, it takes you to the Patchwork homepage. And finally, we see the Android TV OS running on the first generation Mi TV. And here's the big surprise. We have the official app support from Amazon Prime videos. Wow, this is truly exciting. Just started browsing through the interface and it's already buttery smooth. Extremely impressive for a first test build. Those who were worried how is Android TV OS going to run with 1GB of RAM, no need to worry, it's going to run smooth as silk. Let's go into the settings and see the Android version. And there you go, Android 9 Pie, first on any Mi TV. Even the Mi TV Pros are running the Android 8 Oreo. In device preference, you can set the audio, picture preference, backlight, Chromecast, screen saver and much more. And in the settings, you can set the Wi-Fi, inputs and see the apps that are installed. The volume indicator is right in the center, unlike the new Mi TV Pros running Android TV where it's on the top. Now this is just like the one we had in the old Mi TVs. Let's start with the official YouTube app. And the first thing to see is it is already signed in with your Gmail credentials. Let's play a video. Hi there, it's really smart. There you go. Plays perfectly fine, doesn't lag or hang. Here's a 4K video on YouTube and it maxes out at 1080p. Now I'm not complaining because the Mi TV 4A 43 inches is a 1080p display anyway. So having a 4K resolution video would not really make a big difference. Apart from that, videos play flawlessly. Moving on to the one we are all excited about, Amazon Prime Videos. So the process is simple, you log in with your Amazon Prime credentials and you're ready to go. So I was able to log in, but sorry to disappoint you guys, the videos didn't play. I believe this is a first build, hence the problem. So hopefully in future builds, this will work. I tried two videos and both of them didn't work. So let's try to cast an Amazon Prime video using Chromecast. So guys, here's a great news. Now you can use your Chromecast on your old Mi TVs with this update. Yes, Amazon Prime app now supports Chromecast. You're using it from your Android phone or iPhone. It will just work. And the same goes for YouTube. YouTube also supports Chromecast. You can play your videos from your phone, control them, pause them, play them, everything right from your phone. So Chromecast works perfectly fine after the update. Opening the app launcher and you can see all the installed apps, YouTube, Play Movies, and finally you have the Google Play Store. Yes, the official Google Play Store is now available. So now you can access unlimited official apps and games designed for the Android TV. Also available are the Z5 and Hotstar official apps. Most of the content on Z5 is premium, so you'll need subscription to access it. While Hotstar has a mix of both paid and free, and the content plays flawlessly. The Android TV update does bring Google Assistant, but unfortunately there is no microphone on the remote, hence we cannot access it. The other way to access it that we can go on the right. You can type here and search, but since there is no microphone, you cannot use the voice assistant. Even tested the Android TV app remote, but unfortunately even that didn't work. So hopefully if this is fixed, I think we should be able to access voice search using the Android TV remote app. And finally, patch wall. Well, it's now Patchwall 2.0 with a white improved interface. Looks absolutely stunning and runs smoothly. 
Now it also has Geo Cinema integrated on the patchwork, so you don't need to sideload it. But yes, you will need a Geo number or Geo ID password to access it. Overall works great. So finally, what an experience. It's great to have Android TV Pie running on your old Mi TVs. Though this is an early build, it's actually still quite smooth and quite stable. There are a few bugs, there are a lot of app crashes that are going to happen, but apart from that, it's still a good solid update. So right now, this is only given to testers. There will be a stable update coming soon. As of now, everything works. Chromecast works. Android TV OS is smooth, quite buttery smooth, smoother than I actually expected it to be. You can access all the apps on the Play Store that are officially available, Google Apps, YouTube, everything works. The only thing right now is that the pre-installed Amazon Prime app doesn't work. So for that, you can still use Chromecast and cast your Amazon Prime videos from your phone directly to the Mi TV in using the Chromecast feature, which works flawlessly. So some of you might ask, what is the point of having the app if you already have Chromecast support? Well, it's like saying, what is the point of having a YouTube app if you have Chromecast? So always having the YouTube app is far easier, more interactive, fun to use. So I would say having the app is always a plus. As of now, I'm thankful to Xiaomi for fulfilling their promise. We all were waiting for this for a long time. Right now, I can promise that this is going to come to all of you very soon. Only the 55-inch previous Mi TVs right now, we don't have any date or any information. But the 32-inch and 43-inch Mi TV owners can rejoice because the update is just around the corner. So I hope this video was helpful. Write down in the comments and give me your feedback about this video. Also, if there are any questions, do put them down in the comments. Don't forget to like this video, share this video and subscribe to my channel for many more videos like these. Until next time, cheers.